What up fellow earthlings welcome back to my channel Austin Hustler Hires and this is day two of being open at the rage room. I am currently standing in the rear end of my rage room and shop and this is the trailer I made a video about buying the other day for $1,000. I have it sitting back here basically as storage so that we can save space in the rage room for people to rage out. So it's sitting here, it's full of furniture, and also I have a dumpster sitting here right outside of our roll-up door. And the reason this dumpster is sitting here is because when we are rocking and rolling guys, we expect to fill this dumpster up in a day. And what we're going to be able to do is open that big roll-up door right there. I'm going to go inside here. This is our, our uh, you know, one person, one man door here. So. Let me, some, let me turn some lights on in here real quick. Give me one second. All right, that's a little better. Got the lights turned on in here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. This is rage room number two. We're probably going to end up doing like uh, earthlings and aliens as far as both the rage rooms just to be original, you know, and kind of go with the fellow earthlings thing. Um, for those of you that don't know, I say what's up fellow earthlings because... I want to address everybody that is watching my video, everybody that's watching my channel, everybody that subscribes to me. We're all fellow earthlings. We're all the same. It doesn't matter what country we're from. We're all on earth and we are all fellow earthlings. So that's why I say that. Um, just a small explanation there. Now this is a big barn roll, rolling door that I built here in front of the big roll up door if that made any sense. So I just grabbed this handle here. It rolls quite smoothly. And uh, I'm not going to open it all the way because I have some mirrors in the way over there. But basically here is the big roll up door right behind my barn door. And what I do from there is I pull this chain. I'll go ahead and pull that up, up, um, up and it'll open the door. It's locked up right now. I'm not going to actually do it. But that's the concept. We open the barn door, we open up the roll up door, and then we can scoop all of this garbage, all of the glass, all of the furniture that's being smashed and crushed right into the dumpster and then reset. So um, right now we're keeping a lot of our glass up there in that area. See up there, I built those walls a little higher up there so that the glass can't fly over. But that little hole right there, I put a ladder right there, I climb up, and we have thousands of glass bottles, uh, ceramic breakables, mirrors, pitchers, all kinds of things to break. And you can actually see over here, we did a pickup yesterday and we've got over a hundred bottles right here. So that's kind of how I have the rage room set up right now. We're gonna be able to reset, scoop everything out super quickly, get it in the dumpster right outside the door, and, and reset the room, which is gonna be super awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys while I'm here, um, the, basically my system of, you know, when people come into the rage room, how are they going to get set up and how do I plan on, um, you know, dealing with the people that book certain times online and then the people that are walking in wanting to rage. I'll go ahead and explain that to you right here in a second. All right, so here we are out front. And pretend I'm a customer that just parked in the parking lot and I'm walking in the front door right now. So I would open up the front door and I want to see what this place is about. I never heard of a rage room before and I just want to find out. And I walk in, I see all this stuff and it has price tags on it for sale. Maybe I'm interested in something and I, and I take a look at that first. Or I can come right up to the counter here and I would basically ask, you know, what's going on? How does this place work? And if I wanted to rage out, I would have to just go ahead and I can book a time right now because what they're going to be able to do is walk in and book a time right away. Unless there's several people walking in, booking times, you know, within several minutes of each other, they're going to have to obviously wait for that person. But the way I have it set up is I have two rage rooms back there, which I just showed you. One of them is going to be for online booking only. And the other one is going to be for walk-ins only. So that's how we're, we're going to be able to separate that. So basically, if you walk in, you can book, and you either have to wait for the other walk-ins that are ahead of you, or you can book, you can watch my instructional safety video right away, and you can go in there and rage for 15, 20, 30, 45 minutes, however long you'd like. If you want to purchase a, um, 
uh, other glass, we have an uh, option to purchase another 25 pieces of glass, or here it is, uh, another 20 pieces of glass, sorry I have it written down over here, I'm still uh, trying to get to know my own prices, so 20 pieces of glass for $25 you can purchase extra, excuse my son, he's in the bathroom taking a number one or number two, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's basically how it's going to work, guys. Um, they, can, they can purchase a 15-minute session, a 20-minute session, 25-minute session, 30-minute session, or a 45-minute session. Now, obviously, the, each session that is longer and longer in minutes, we're going to um, provide more glass, more breakables, more small items, more medium items, more large items. Um, so after they come in and they sign up with the front desk, they get our waiver signed, right? And they're not allowed to rage unless they sign a waiver. And they're going to have this TV right here on with my instructional video. We'll push play. They watch the instructional video. And they will earn a card. When they walk out of here, they'll walk out of here with a card. It's an annual pass for the rage room. And that's going to cost $10 per person that doesn't have an annual pass. Now, after you pay that $10 and you come in to rage again, you don't have to watch the video again because you got your annual pass and you don't have to pay for that $10. Plus, the annual, the annual pass will act as a $5 discount coupon every time you come in. So not only you're paying $10, that one-time fee, but if you come in two more times, you get $5 off each time, so you're getting your $10 back uh, basically right away. Um, they come into this room, they watch an instructional video, and then I have all of our coveralls hanging on the wall. Some of them are brand new there in plastic bags still. And, uh, and then we have our helmets right here set up. So they put their coveralls on, they put the helmets on, and then they're going to put their gloves on. I have large, uh, medium, and small gloves for them to choose from, so that way, um, you know, whatever size your hand is, we have a fit for them. So that's how that works, guys. They're going to come in here. They're going to sign our waiver. They're going to pay us. They're going to get the annual pass, watch the safety video. They're going to get geared up, and then they're going to go in there and smash. They're going to go right through this door here, which is going to be rage room number one, or, you know, earthlings, and this one will be aliens, something like that. So we got two entrances there. This entrance opens up directly into this rage room. And that barn door will be closed off so you won't be able to see that open hole there. Um, and then this rage room here opens up. And what happens is there's a hallway that I built. You go down this hallway. And then you enter into the larger rage room this way. So you just come on down here. And you're in the larger rage room. And obviously, like I said, that door is going to be closed. And this door will be closed. Um, I have an idea guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this idea. In this hallway, what I'm thinking about doing is painting this wall like a solid white and then putting a couple of permanent markers on there so people can sign their names uh, on the wall saying, you know, I've been here. So just kind of a cool thing for people to have, uh, you know, a piece of the building when they come in and leave. So anyway guys, I will uh, update you soon on the day here, how it's going. We have had uh, a coupon lady come in and try to sell us, um, you know, a spot in her coupon book, which we may do. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna see about that. What do you guys think about putting a spot in a coupon book? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And also hit that like button if you guys haven't yet. I will update you here in just a minute on what is going on with this rage room later on today when we start raging. I hired some sign spinners for the day. Right there, my two professional sign spinners. Holding up the Rage Room Now open signs. Are Mommy and Bubby doing a good job? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Boom. We just made our first $20. Actually, this was $15 because I gave them $5 change. But it's a $20 bill. <laughs> So actually we had our first customers come in and ask about the rage room just from the signs on the side of the road. And I'm hoping as uh, it gets later in the day here, I think, what time is it baby? 3.22pm. 3.22pm. So as it gets later on in the day, I'm thinking uh, we're going to have more and more people stopping by today. 
we'll see. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday. Hopefully it's better than Thursday. Actually, it's already been better than Thursday. Um, and today we had two people come in. One of them was somebody trying to sell us um, a spot and a coupon book, which we may do or may not do, which I already told you that earlier. And the second one was an actual customer. They came in finding out about the prices to go and rage. And then... All right, well, I had to pause the camera because my wife was, like, saying something in the background. I just realized there was three people, three people that came in today. And the third person actually was super, super excited about the Rage Room. Uh, the other two, I, I think they were really excited, just didn't know how to express excitement or something. <laughs> so, yeah, we had two potential customers actually walk in, so that's awesome. And um, the third one was just trying to sell us a spot and a coupon. So, anyway... Pretty exciting. Hopefully, uh, by the end of the night, we'll get our first Ragers in here raging out. I'll keep you guys um, informed throughout this video. Again, I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button to help me, help the channel, help the algorithm grow exponentially here. And uh, I'm going to keep making these videos until we do. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. What up, guys? Still day two here. It is currently... 6:38 p.m. and we have a I don't know an hour and a half to go here till we hit eight o'clock. Today has been a better day than day one. We actually had four people come in today and inquire about the rage room, finding out information, figuring out um, how many people, how much, blah blah blah. So we didn't actually have anybody go back there and rage besides me and my kids today. Uh, decided to try it out. And that was great. That was fun. So it's been a good day so far. A better day than yesterday. Uh, it seems like it's just about getting the word out. We have to keep getting the word out. This is still something new to everybody, pretty much everywhere. And uh, it's something that we have to get the word out. When I first started my junk removal company um, five or six years ago, uh, I, I was really having a hard time explaining to people what junk removal was and what we did and how we served them. It wasn't necessarily as big as it is now, and I was still explaining to people. So that it feels like that. It feels like I'm in a type of business where um, it, we're maybe we're just about to blow up all over the world, kind of like junk removal did, because there's people everywhere starting businesses, and that's fantastic. And uh, I got into that early, which I'm super grateful for. And hopefully we're getting into this early and kind of spreading awareness about rage rooms, and I'll probably see more opening up as the years go on but we're in a good spot um, right off of one of the busiest rows here in, F in Volusia County, Florida. So I'm super excited about that, guys. Um, I'm not used to like working this late, honestly, as far as being somewhere and having to do, I mean, <sighs> There's nothing, I have to find stuff to do is what I'm saying. Like I'm, I have to sit here. I just got done making my safety and instruction video. So I'll go ahead and actually uh, play that for you now. What's okay. up fellow earthlings? I'm glad you made it. And I hope you're ready to have a smashing good time. But before we get started, let's go over a few things to ensure your safety. Let's start out by going over your protective gear. Behind me on the wall are your coveralls. This is basically a onesie for adults with a hoodie attached. Slide these over your feet, then put your arms in, pull the zipper up, put the, hit, the hoodie on. And yes, everybody has to wear one. Over here are your helmets. These helmets are covering your full head. There's some Velcro on the top to hold it down. Slide the helmet on, pull this over the back of your head, and you're protected. The next thing we need you to do is grab a pair of gloves. We have small, medium and large gloves in this basket. Choose the size that fits you correctly without the glove slipping off. Pull the end of the glove over top of your sleeve. Now you are fully protected. This is how every fellow earthling should look when they're finished putting on their protective gear. First let's talk about some rage room etiquette. The number one rule is to always swing towards a cinder block or a concrete wall in the direction of a cinder block or concrete wall. It's okay if it goes sideways, but make sure we're actually swinging in the direction of the concrete wall. When raging with multiple people, make sure you're aware of your fellow rager's position. Never swing when someone is in your vicinity. 
You're allowed to pick bottles up or any item that is throwable. And you can chuck it at the wall with your hands. But never smash with your head, your hands, your fists, your legs, your arms, your neck, your body. Don't ever smash with anything other than our tools provided. Grip your rage tool firmly with two hands to ensure you do not let go and throw it at a fellow rager. And with all that being said, let's just use common sense here, people. Make sure we're being safe so we can have a good time without interruption. Let's go. So that was my safety and instruction video for, you know, the rage room, how you put everything on, um, the etiquette we we expect you to have in the rage room. Super simple, just a few minutes long, and uh, I think it explains everything we need to explain to basically have everybody rage safely in there. And you know, accidents are going to happen, stuff's going to happen, so we are prepared with like a first aid kit just in case, um, and obviously insurance. So. Yeah, that was it. I hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button if you guys liked that uh, short little safety video that I created. And I'll update you here when we leave tonight and let you know if anybody came in rage today. If not, I'll see you then. Okay, so it's still day two. We're around 7 o'clock, maybe like 7.30 right now. I'm not sure exactly. Um, we are waiting for the missus and my daughter to get back and my other son. We're going to eat something, then we're going to get out of here. Today was a lot better day than day one, guys. Super excited. I really am. Uh, I'm just a little tired, so I'm, I'm not down, so don't get that from my, uh, my tiredness. <laughs> uh, but yeah, tomorrow's our grand opening. I'm really excited about that. We had a lot of people come in and acquire today, and by a lot, I mean like four or five people um, came in and inquired about uh, what it is and how it works, how much it is. They wanted a tour of the place, so we gave them that. And so hopefully tomorrow is a great turnout. This is the end of day two. And uh, if anybody does come in in the next 30 minutes, I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's video. I'll be doing this daily for a little while, showing you, you know, every single day here in the rage room and how it goes. And I may even go live on one of these days. I appreciate you. And if you're still here, please make sure you hit that like button, share this video, and make sure you're subscribed. Because some of you just may not know you're not subscribed to me. Just because it's showing you my video doesn't mean you're subscribed. So make sure that button down there says subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.